Good afternoon and welcome to Garth Webb's virtual commencement. I'm Sarah Jeffries. And I'm Tim Fallhofer, and we will be co-hosting today's ceremony honoring the class of 2021. Please stand if you are able to for the singing of O Canada and the honoring of our land. Alton Tal, que nous la connaissons aujourd'hui, est riche en histoire et tradition moderne, issue de nombreux premiers nations et des métis. De l'Anishinaabe à la Rwandron, les Hurunotone et les métis, ces terres qui entourent les grands lacs sans infuser d'histoire indigène. Étant réunis aujourd'hui sur ces terres de traité, nous avons la responsabilité d'honorer et de respecter les quatre directions la terre, les eaux, les plantes, les animaux les ancêtres que nous y ont précédés et tous les éléments merveilleux de la création qui existent. Nous tenons à remercier les Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation du partage de le territoire traditionnel avec nous. Alton, as we know it today, is rich in history and modern traditions of many First Nations and the Métis. From the Anishinaabe to the Atawandaran, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis, these lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped in Indigenous history. As we gather today on these treaty lands, we have the responsibility to honor and respect the four directions, land, water, plants, animals, ancestors that walked before us, and all the wonderful elements of creation that exist. We would like to acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for sharing their traditional territory with us. As we honor the land and territory, it is important that we, as graduates, continue to learn about the history and experience of Indigenous peoples. Marie Sinclair is Anishinaabe and a member of the Peguas First Nation. He is a fourth degree chief of the Mindwawiwin Society, a traditional healing and spiritual society of the Anishinaabe Nation, responsible for protecting the teachings, ceremonies, laws, and history of the Anishinaabe. Sinclair was chairman of the Truth and Reconciliation Commission that was formed as part of the Indian Residential School Settlement Agreement between 2009 and 2015. He said, It was the educational system that has contributed to this problem in this country. And it's the education system we believe that is going to help us get away from this. We need to look at the way that we educate children. We need to look at the way we educate ourselves. We need to look at what it is that Indigenous peoples themselves are allowed to say within the education system, with their own histories. Having recently retired from the Canadian Senate, Murray Sinclair will become the 15th Chancellor of Queen's University on July 1st, 2021. Hello again. Before we begin, I would like to recognize and thank the fantastic Garth Webb students who have already contributed to today's celebration to Garth Webb's vocal class for their performance and recording of O Canada, and Sophie Capolero, Trent Gilbert, Victoria Hilliard, Desiree Morris, and Alina Santos for sharing the land acknowledgement and learning with us. Thank you. Here we are, sorta together again one last time. One last time where we get to celebrate you and your accomplishments. You have learned more about yourself in the last two years than any other graduating class. When you look back 15 years from now, it won't matter what shoes you wore, how your hair looked, or the type of phone you owned. What will matter is what you learned and how you used it. The days may have seemed long, but the only thing money can't buy is time. So I hope you enjoyed your time here. I hope you used your time here. I hope you took the knowledge you gained, the skills you attained, the growth you achieved, and made this world a better place. It is in the times of struggle when real leaders step up. Struggles prepare you. 
It forces you to be ready for the next step. And that next step, while still muddied in uncertainty, is a big one. We here at Garth Webb hope that we had a hand in preparing you for that next step. Enjoy the next step, and remember to embrace the struggle. Your high school experience was determined by you. Okay, maybe not the pandemic part, but from the choices you made in your classes to the co-curriculars, who you chose to be friends with or what homework to do or not to do, those small choices led you to today. Although the past year has been overshadowed by this pandemic, there are still a lot of great moments that you got to enjoy over the past four years. You've built robots and rockets, have competed in DECA, HOSA, and mock trial. You've performed at coffee houses, school concerts, the musical and plays. You've created art, film, and a broadcast. You've played in championship games and gone to OFSA. You've hypothesized, dissected, solved equations, and learned that Y equals at MX plus B. You've researched sol soldiers and written essays, debated heavy topics, and discovered new thoughts and ideas. You've traveled the world through me to we, music, and European trips. You've given your peers a voice and have led and participated in our school community through semi-formal, Terry Fox Day, Pink Days, Fall Fairs, fundraising, and so much more. You have certainly left your mark on Garth Webb and have truly embodied our motto of learn today to lead tomorrow. At this time, we would like to welcome our Director of Education, Mr. Stuart Miller, who brings a message from the Halton District School Board. Hello, everyone. Boy, oh boy, you've had a tough end to your high school career, to your school career. I know that you have lost much. You've lost your extracurriculars, your co-curriculars. You've lost the socialization in schools. You've lost your proms. You've lost your commencements. But let's not dwell on those losses because we have a choice to make. And the choice is, do we dwell on our losses or do we look forward to a brighter, better, more hopeful future? I am totally confident that the grade 12 class of this year is well-placed and well-prepared to take on this world as you go into either post-secondary education or the workforce. I know that it's been challenging, but think about the characteristics that you have had to develop this year and being put to the test on resiliency, integrity, strength, courage, commitment to others around you. It is an unprecedented time, but if we look on the positives, we've had an opportunity to develop unprecedented characteristics and skills that will make you the strongest generation going forward. I am so hopeful that we will be, if not out of the pandemic, close to out of the pandemic, and we'll take the lessons learned. But you take the lessons learned individually and collectively to make a big difference in this society so that we're not faced with these situations again. You will make a difference. I have every confidence in it because never has a generation of students been tested like you have in our lifetimes. And you have come through the test with flying colors. So congratulations. I also want to thank you for your efforts during this time. You've done remarkably well. You've looked after each other and looked after yourselves, and nothing is more important than that. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all you've done in your school careers. Wherever you go next year, the skies will be blue and the sun will be shining because you are there. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Miller. I would now like to introduce Ms. Joanna Oliver, trustee of Oakville Ward 4. Dear graduates, on behalf of the Halton District School Board's trustees, it is my great pleasure and honor to congratulate each of you. This is your celebration. You did it. It's a celebration of a very important milestone, the successful completion of your secondary education and the start of the next life-defining phase. And it is probably a bittersweet celebration for you. You begin this journey in grade one when you could barely write your own name. You thought your parents were simply named mom and dad. Your home address was a mystery and you could probably not tie your own shoelaces. 
I'm sure your family can't help but feel like it was such a short while ago. For you, probably feels like an eternity. Just think how much you have grown and changed over these past 12 years. Over this period of growth and development, you had experienced some challenges, tribulations, moments of joy, victory, and fulfillment. During your time at Garth Webb, you had the opportunity to take different courses and learn new things, exercise your curiosity, try different sports and clubs, acquire new skills, and enhance your talents. This year is one for the history books, and you a part of that history. You have managed to navigate this year of quadmasters, cohorts, in-person learning, online learning, masks. I'm sure at times you felt like you were rocking it, and at times you were down in the dumps. You certainly learned to embrace challenges. And you have collectively made the gaming chair, the blinking color-changing LED lights, and the funky headsets, the new accessories for a learning space. You have the unique distinction of spending nearly a third of your high school career and graduating during a COVID-19 pandemic. Through all that, you have grown as a person and have gained a direction for your future. Whether you're continuing post-secondary studies, entering a workplace, or taking a year off, you're entering a new and exciting phase in your life, and your possibilities are endless. Life is beautiful, and your future is bright. I hope that you will always have fond memories of Garth Webb Secondary School. Memories of the courses, people, and clubs that helped to shape your direction, focus your interests, and supported your passions. Teachers that were your role models and mentors, and friends that supported and cherished you. And I hope that you're leaving Garth Webb with not just a sense of direction, but also a sense of self. Looking ahead, I have a few pieces of advice for you that I hope you will file away in your memory. Be grateful. No matter what situation you're in, there's always something to be thankful for. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Look for the good in every situation. And don't feel like you need to have it all figured out. Life is a continual journey of learning. Learn to enjoy the journey. Choose to surround yourself with people who will inspire you to become a better person. And don't forget to wear sunscreen. Graduates. We are very proud of your accomplishments and achievements and thankful that you were a part of the Garth Webb Secondary School family and shared your unique talents, your challenges and energy and aspirations with us. You have lived the Halton District School Board motto, learn, grow, inspire together. And before you leave Garth Webb Secondary School, I would like to share with you an excerpt from a lovely Irish blessing. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be ever at your back. May the sunshine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your fields. May there always be work for your hands to do. May your purse always hold a coin or two. And may the hand of a friend always be near you. Congratulations, graduates. Garth Webb Secondary School, Class of 2021. Thank you, Miss Oliver. Next, I would like to introduce Ms. Dahlia Alfara, Chair of Garth Webb's Parent Council, to share a few words. Hello, Garth Webb graduates, Class of 2021. My name is Dahlia. I'm the Parent Council Chair for Garth Webb Secondary School, and I'm here on behalf of your parents, your guardians, your neighbors, your friends and family, your teachers, and all the staff at the school to say congratulations. This is a huge accomplishment, not to mention you did it during a pandemic. You're definitely a class going down in the history books as one of those that graduated during a pandemic. And we know it hasn't been easy, but we know that looking forward, you have nothing but new memories to make and great experiences to have. We wish you the best of luck and congratulations, you did it. Thank you, Miss Elfera. Last but not least, I would like to introduce Mrs. Pamela Jenkins, principal of Garth Webb Secondary School, to speak on behalf of the school. Good afternoon, graduates, and congratulations on your graduation. It was so nice to see all of you at the grad through. You truly are a special group of students who have made a difference at Garth Webb. I think about our pink days in the foyer, I think about robotics, I think about football games, I think about DECA, field hockey, soccer, Mamma Mia, the band, volleyball, the list goes on and on and on. 
When you started at Garth Webb, the message was always to get involved. Well, now more than ever, we value the life of the school. We could dwell in all that we did not get to do, or we could look forward and make a pledge going forward that you will get involved. You will join that group, that club, that team, just to be with people and make new friends. Friendships and connectivity between people is so important and we now fully understand the value of it. I hope that you give back as you move on to the next chapter. One of my favorite quotes is you get what you give. So give your time to others and you will get great rewards in return. What do I want you to remember when you leave Garth Webb? Hmm, learn today to lead tomorrow. You are always learning and you are the leaders of tomorrow. If you continue to learn, you continue to innovate and you continue to stay positive, we will get there. I also want you to remember the times when 1700 teenagers lined our hallways on Remembrance Day. We had our moment of silence and we were grateful for all the people who fought before us so we could have the freedoms of today. I ask that you always remember and you see the world through a grateful lens. It has been an honor to have you at Garth Webb. You are always welcome back for a visit. One thing I often hear from our grads is how much they miss our teachers and how great our teachers are. I'd like to thank all of the teachers for all of their efforts with this graduating class over the past four years. It is the people who make the school and we are truly very lucky to have the people we have in the school. As you look forward to the years ahead, keep your drive for high achievement, keep your kindness and compassion for others, and always remember the people who support you in your lives. Thank you to the caregivers and the parents. We could not do this without you. You are often what keeps us all going, especially over the past year or so. Off you go, make the world a better place, and we will be right beside you cheering you on. Félicitations, class of 2021. You are a very special group of graduates who have added huge value to this school, and you will be missed. Congratulations, all the best. Thank you, Mrs. Jenkins. Today we are here to celebrate the class of 2021. We celebrate their achievements, recognize their hard work, and congratulate them on being part of Girth Web history. The class of 2021 slideshow honors our grade 12 students by recognizing their accomplishments individually. It is during this time that we will also see warm wishes and messages from various departments at Garth Webb and recognize this year's book award winners. Hello, class of 2021. It's Mrs. Lee here. And on behalf of everyone in the main office, I would like to welcome you to your virtual commencement and congratulate you on your graduation. I started working at Garth Webb four years ago when many of you came for the first time in grade nine. And I have so enjoyed watching you accomplish great things and overcome some major challenges that none of us saw coming. We hope that you will come back and visit in the future and we can't wait to hear all about the positive impact you're going to have on the world. Go out there, Chargers, and chase your dreams. The best is yet to come. Happy graduation.
graduates. You've made so many memories in your time here at Garth Webb Secondary School. Take them with you as you continue your journey. Do you remember the name of the soldier from your Lest We Forget project in grade 10 history? Maybe you remember that food lab that didn't quite go to plan and tasted like it. Maybe you also remember those calf cookies sneaking food into the library or that special spot in the building where you connected with your friends at lunch. On behalf of Canada World Studies Department, we wish you well on your journey. Congratulations, class of 2021. Hi everyone, I'm thrilled to announce the winner of the Canadian and World Studies Book Award. There are a lot of things that I could tell you about this student. They've taken six CWS courses over the last two years. They've earned at least 90% in all of their grade 12 CWS courses and all of those things on their own would be incredibly impressive, but that's not what sets this student apart. In all of those courses, they never shied away from the learning. They continuously wondered, questioned, criticized on repeat. And so we are so thrilled as an entire department to award the CWS Book Award to Jayla Davidson. Congratulations, yay. Hello, my name is Mrs. Sandra Rogers and I am very pleased to be presenting the Department Book Award for Social Science for the graduating class of 2021. This year's award winner not only achieved academic excellence, but perhaps just as importantly, also sought to seek understanding of the world around them, which is a key tenant for any social scientist. Our award winner took multiple social science courses from Garth Webb, and that study informed their post-secondary pathway. I can tell you as a witness the incredible growth, both in academic ability and their passion for the subject matter since the days of grade 10 history right up to grade 12. I am very proud, very pleased, and very excited to announce this year's winner of the Social Science Department Book Award is Kay Tagdi. Congratulations, Kay.
All right, English department, how would you describe the defining characteristics of the class of 2021? Hello, will anyone answer me? Sorry, Ms. Friesen. Uh, I would say they're super resilient. Mature? They've got great hygiene. They've had to be really independent. Trustworthy. Masters of the mute button. Very supportive of each other. Sorry, my camera's not working, but adaptable. Selfless. Congratulations, class of 2021. We are so proud of you. Yeah. The English Book Award is granted to a student who has shown a dedication, passion, and excitement for English, who has demonstrated the core values of GWSS, who works hard, contributes to class, demonstrates leadership, and has earned high achievement. The English Book Award recipient this year is Anthony Adebusoyi. He took two grade 12 English electives, writer's craft and studies in film and literature, as well as grade 12 English, excelling in all three courses. Congratulations, Anthony, on this well-deserved award. We wish you all the best. Chargers, these are the things we wish we had known when we graduated. Take time to soak it all in. Enjoy every minute. If you're riding a bike to school, make sure it's a bike nobody wants to steal. Speaking from experience, three bikes, my friends. <laughs> you know those learning skills on your report card, the ones that are E for excellent? They really do matter later in life, especially when you get your first job and you have to sit down for a job review with your boss. Be careful when you go to college or university and you're asked to submit a course evaluation, uh, that the evaluation will be entirely confidential or you will receive a phone call at your residence from the professor and you'll cry. While in class work is important, most of your learning and growing will be done outside of the classroom. The best is yet to come.
Learn how to grocery shop and always have a go-to meal. <laughs> uh, join clubs. Join them all. In, in college, there's a million clubs and they're free and they're just full of people your age who are interested in the same things as you. So go try things out. All right, congratulations, Chargers. The Business Book Award is conferred upon a student who has shown a dedication and passion for business, who has gone above and beyond both in and out of the classroom and has demonstrated the core values of Garth Webb Secondary School. This year's candidate, Cassie House, has been a wonderful leader for DECA, despite having to forego her trip to ICDC based upon the pandemic. She is caring, articulate, and hardworking in the realm of business studies. Congratulations, Cassie House. Hi, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Miss Ward, and I'm a visual arts teacher at Garth Webb. I'm here to present the Garth Webb Arts Book Award to a deserving student who has demonstrated proficiency and interest through a variety of arts clubs and arts programs. This year's recipient, I'm happy to announce, is an exceptionally well-rounded student who has not only demonstrated outstanding academic excellence through her artistic career, but has also demonstrated citizenship through her time spent outside the classroom. And it is my privilege to announce that this year's Garth Webb Arts Book Award goes to Sarah Liao Taylor. Even with the challenges the past year and a half have brought, Sarah has been completing a mural for the school in her garage and sending updates via email. I've seen Sarah mature from a little confident grade nine student willing to help clean up and stay after class and at lunch into a confident young woman with a little bit of the right kind of sass who will not only succeed in whatever she strives to do, but also a, is a good citizen and is a good human being. I'm here to say congratulations, Sarah. You succeeded because of the love and support of others, but you and you alone have done the work and have had the drive to achieve this award. from order to disorder as the entropy of the universe is always increasing. As the entropy of the universe is always increasing. The only way to keep all the things you care about from disintegrating into disorder 
is to put time and energy into them. This includes your relationships and your schoolwork. Evolve. Remember that natural selection takes thousands of years. You don't have to be perfect. Just make small improvements over time to be the best version of yourself. Act like non-polar covalent bond and share your electrons. Share your knowledge and your heart. You never know what secret battles those around you are fighting. Like how the mitochondria use pyruvate to make ATP energy? Take in your favorite things and feed off of them to empower you. Love, Love what, what you, you do, do and it won't feel, feel like work. work. We have so many amazing science students at Garth Webb that it made choosing a recipient for the book award incredibly difficult. I would like to congratulate Victoria Hillier, uh, who took four science courses in grade 12, was a member of our STEM and health science clubs, and enthusiastically shared her experiences from her hospital co-op with her classmates. It was a pleasure teaching you this year, Victoria. I can't wait to hear what you do in the future, and congratulations. Let's see what Dilbert has to say today. Hello? Hi, Mr. Sanderson, how's it going? Oh, not too much, just doing a little academic research online. Oh, the Computer Science Book Award winner, you need that? When do you need it by? Last week? Um, just hold on a second, I think I have it right here. I actually have an algorithm that looks over 10,000 data points to choose the best winner. I have it right here. Just let me run it. Just give me a couple seconds. Here it's loading. Oh, there it is. The Computer Science Book Award winner algorithm. So let's see, complex algorithm. This complex algorithm will take 10 hours to run. Do you want to continue? Uh, I don't have 10 hours. Uh, no. Let's just do this. Random student generate the winner. Jay Lee, do you accept these results? Uh, no. N no, 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 no. I guess. Yeah, Mr. Sanderson, all figured out. It's Jay Lee.
behalf of the special education team, I want to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. Four years ago, I started a Garth Webb together with all of you. At that time, I had the privilege of being the grade nine cert. To see all of you grow into independent learners and young adults has been truly rewarding. You are a special group who has overcome many challenges that you were faced with, especially in the last year. You will be missed at Garth Webb, but I am sure you are all ready for your new adventure. I wish you all the best in your future. Much health, happiness, love, and success. Congratulations once again. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Crabtree. I'm thrilled to be presenting the book award on behalf of the Learning Resources Department. Uh, this award goes to someone who demonstrates great skill in problem solving, self-advocacy, and has an incredible work ethic. Uh, this year's uh, book award winner uh, for Learning Resources Department is Andrew Chen. Congratulations, Andrew. On behalf of the Learning Resources Department, we are so proud of you and we wish you all the best. Congratulations.
Vous êtes tous capables de tout. N'oubliez pas ce que Saint-Exupéry a dit. Connaître, ce n'est pas démontrer ni expliquer. C'est accéder à la vision. Toutes nos félicitations à vous et nous vous souhaitons un excellent avenir. The Languages Department Book Award is for a student that has shown a dedication, passion, and excitement for the languages. For a student who has demonstrated the core values of GWSS. A student who works hard and has worked hard, contributed and demonstrates leadership in all of their languages classes. Cette personne possède la persévérance, une personnalité sincère et positive. On est ravi et fier de cette étudiante. C'est Alina Santos. graduating class of 2021, it's the math department, and we want to say congratulations. You have worked so hard and learned so many valuable lessons here at Garth Webb Secondary School. From the details in algebra to many life lessons that will stay with you. As you start your next journey, remember the Garth Webb School motto, learn today, lead tomorrow. We are so proud of the leaders you have become. And we are excited to see where your journey takes you. Congratulations, Chargers. We're so proud of you. The Math Book Graduation Award is presented to a student who shows a great interest and passion in the subject area. The recipient has completed three different math courses in grade 12 and excelled in each one of them. The recipient has demonstrated outstanding dedication, leadership, and enthusiasm in mathematics. This year, I am very pleased to announce that the recipient of the Math Book Graduation Award goes to Emma Liu. Congratulations, Emma. We're so proud of you.
graduates, for the last four years, you've been carving out your place in Garth Web history. Well, our tech department would like to congratulate you on all the hard work and wish you well as you continue to sculpt the next stage in your life. Congratulations, grads, and all the best. Many congratulations to the class of 2021, wishing you all the best in your future endeavors. Hey, hey, just want to give you all a very big shout out. Congratulations on a job well done. All the very best in the future. And remember, stay safe. Hello, class of 2021. This is Mr. Richards. I'm one of the tech teachers. I just want to wish you congratulations on your graduation and best of luck next year on whatever adventure you might be going on. And also have a great summer. Bye. Moving forward in your life, stay creative, always look for ways to be innovative and stand out in a positive way. Always be open for collaboration and maintain a growth mindset. Congratulations. Oh, hey there, grads. Remember what Matthew 5.5 5 says, blessed are the geeks for they will inherit the earth. Graduates, congratulations on your outstanding achievement of making it through your high school career. We're exceedingly proud of you and we can't wait to see what your future has in store. So wishing you all the best. Hi everyone, my name is Mr. Douglas. I'm the advanced manufacturing technology teacher and robotics teacher here at Garth Webb Secondary School. This year I have the distinct privilege of presenting the tech book recipient on behalf of our tech department. Now this year's award winner has a laundry list of achievements in tech ed. They've got over eight credits of technological education to their name, uh, co-op student energy schism certificate uh, to, uh, on their diploma. They are a four year participant in the robotics program, um, a leader on our team. A lot of the uh, more advanced uh, components that you see on this outstanding robot produced by this student. Uh, they are graduating, going on to a career uh, in mechatronics, studying at McMaster University. This year, they were the gold medal winner at the Ontario Skills Competition for Computer-Aided Manufacturing. It was an outstanding achievement. But perhaps the thing that I'm most uh, proud of with the student is that, you know, each year we get to build a new robot. Unfortunately, it couldn't happen this year due to COVID. Uh, rather than lament the loss of the robotic season student, chose to focus on team improvement. They put a lot of effort into teaching our junior students. Their senior project was this advanced fixturing system behind me. It's gonna allow us to double the uh, student engagement by putting more students uh, through the CNC. It, they were incredibly selfless in a very difficult time. True character shown by the student. It is with great pride and honor that I present this year's Tech Book Award to Michael Wong. Michael, we're incredibly proud of you. Congratulations.
all be together. The phys ed department wants you to know that we are thinking of you and are proud of all of your accomplishments. Whether you spent time in the gym, the library, or the theater, working on robotics or on your math skills. We hope you had an awesome time at Garth Webb. And we wish you the best of luck for the future. Come back and visit anytime. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay active. Hi Keely. I just finished a workout with my grade nines and I wanted to come on here to extend a huge congratulations to being this year's Health and Physical Education Book Award winner. When we pick a winner for this award, we don't just look at the physical side of phys ed, we also look at the academic side. And you didn't just step, step your toe into the phys ed waters, you splashed all around. You were active for your four years here in phys ed, you took on niche courses like leadership and outdoor ed, and you challenged yourself with kinesiology. Coupled that with your work ethic, your drive, and your incredible character made this an easy decision. You were an incredible candidate and a worthy recipient. And hey, you get to read a book because of it. Who said phys ed people don't read? Good luck next year wherever you go, and hopefully we'll see you around. would like to congratulate the graduating class of 2021. We would like to send you off with a few words of advice in the form of a poem. Never stop learning. On this your graduation day, I'll stand and give cheer to honor you for all the work you've done to get you here. As we rise and give applause, be sure you don't forget that learning is not over as your future plans are met. May you always be a listener and learn from all you meet. Always keep a student's spirit and your life will be complete. 
Congratulations, Chargers. Student Services wishes you all the best as you continue to learn today to lead tomorrow. The recipient of the ESL award is Naya Khalil. She moved to the country and to Garth Webb at the beginning of her grade 12 year, which is not an easy thing to do. She's a leader, she's dedicated, she's hardworking. She's just a super student. Congratulations, Naya. It is my pleasure to announce this year's co-op book award winner. This student demonstrated Garth Webb's core values of learning today to lead tomorrow by being engaged in learning about environmental concepts and climate action at their co-op placement. The student was involved in various initiatives and they show confidence and understanding climate challenges, opportunities and solutions. Their authentic voice and understanding of the issue helped others and inspired change. The student still continues to volunteer in their community to share and work with others on climate action initiatives. This year's Co-op Book Award winner is Luka Simitunovic. Congratulations, Luka. The Student Services Book Award is presented to a student who has shown commitment to personal growth, strength of character, and perseverance in the face of adversity. Throughout her time at Garth Webb, the student has become an amazing self-advocate and hasn't ever hesitated to take on the obstacles that life has thrown her way. She is resilient, honest, funny, and always smiling. It is my great pleasure and honor to present this award to Rachel Margulies. Rachel, we are so proud of you and know that great things lie ahead for you. Congratulations from all of us in Student Services. Before we further celebrate the class of 2021, we would like to thank the Juno Beach Association who have been gracious enough to provide us with two scholarships for our graduating students in memory of Mr. Garth Webb. And we'd also like to acknowledge the Garth Webb's Parent Council who have donated our Poppy Awards to assist our students in their post-secondary studies. We recognize that many of our awards did not appear in today's video as timelines did not match up with the filming and editing of deadlines. That being said, we encourage everyone to go to the Garth Webb website where a list of this year's recipients will be posted. Congratulations to all this year's award winners. Graduates, on behalf of your teachers and the staff of Garth Webb, we'd like to congratulate you on your accomplishments. We know that this isn't exactly how you wanted to be celebrating this milestone, but here we are. You did it. Congratulations. 
It is at this point in the ceremony where we will turn it over to a member of our graduating class, a student nominated and selected by their peers, this year's valedictorian. Good afternoon, students, parents and guardians, and Garth Webb staff. I have the honor of introducing Arshin Khan. I first met Arsh when he came into my grade 10 math classroom. I was arranging the desks for where the students would sit when he came up to me and said, don't worry, Miss Marchese, you can put me anywhere. I'll talk to anyone. And my first thought was, wow, that's great. How nice. A few months later and moving Arsh all around the classroom, I realized what he really meant. Yes, he can talk to anyone all the time during the entire class period, but his genuineness to get to know people and make people happy was not lost. Over the years, Arsh has become more focused and hardworking, but his positivity and inclusivity has never wavered. Arsh inspired those around him, made them laugh and smile, especially during hard times. He also cared and listened and tried to get to know people. I've been fortunate enough to have Arsh two more times this year to really see how impactful his personality and eagerness to learn has helped to shape our classroom, both in class and online. He is the first one with his camera on and the last to say goodbye. If you know Arsh, he is full of ambition and I truly believe he will accomplish all that he sets out to do. Arsh will be leaving Garth Webb to pursue a degree in business at McMaster University. I would now like to welcome your valedictorian for 2021, Arshin Khan. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Class of 2021, this is the first day of the rest of your life. But what is life? The Oxford Dictionary defines life as a state of living. I see life as a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Right now, at this very moment in time, we are standing at a crossroads in our lives. But what if I taught you how to kill two birds with one stone? Wait, 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 what the heck am I even saying? If any of my English teachers found out I was using cliches in my speech, they would have given me a zero. Class of 2021, obviously, this isn't how we imagined our graduation to go. We were supposed to be together, celebrating our successes with each other. In reality, I'm standing in front of this iPhone while all of you stare at me through your screens. Kind of creepy if you think about it. Some of you might be laughing at me, others maybe checking me out, but uh, we can agree that all of you are expecting me to sum up our high school experiences in one speech. But it isn't that simple. While other graduating classes were worried about their future, we have to worry about a pandemic that is shaping our future. I would have never imagined that things so simple in our lives, like going out to eat or being with friends, things that seem so normal would have been taken away from us. We have lost two of our most precious years of high school, two years that we could have spent growing as a school community, two years that we could have enjoyed, two years that we won't ever get back. Despite this, we have all impacted each other in ways that we couldn't have ever imagined. But the two years that we did spend together were some of the greatest years of our lives. I remember the first day of grade nine, walking into high school, surrounded by hundreds of new faces, an overwhelming feeling knowing that some of those new faces will be my best friends who we shared countless memories with. Like standing in line, waiting to get poutine and cookies from the calf while being entertained by Diane's wonderful voice, venting to each other after receiving test marks, roaming the halls after we said we were going to get drinks of water or even wondering what was in the chicken at Chicken Square that made it so darn good. And who could possibly forget the teacher dance-offs during Halloween? We all know that the athletics department would try a little too hard. So many memories were made in the short time that we spent in a building we called our second home. Whether it was sitting in the calf, playing chess in room 3031, or even going outside to play cricket, everyone had a spot in the school that made them feel like they belonged. We all walked into high school with such high expectations getting good grades, going to our dream uni, being popular, or even finding that, that one person who will be by our side forever. However, these expectations that we had were far from what reality had in store for us. We, had, we faced hurdle after hurdle, going through hard and tough moments in our lives where we had to pause and reevaluate our expectations. You know, if I had the chance to go back and give myself a message to my grade nine self, I would say that there's no such thing as a perfect plan in life where you could be on your deathbed at the end of it all and say, I did it. That moment comes from all the mistakes you make, the stories you read, the life lessons you learn. That once perfect plan becomes a continuous adapting journey that is shaped by your decisions. 
It might just be the most cliche statement of all, but life really is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. But just remember that even if your perfect plan isn't going to work out perfectly, it'll still allow you to give, like, to make the right decisions and um, prepare you for future endeavors. You know, giving a valedictorian speech at Garth Webb is such a unique opportunity because we are one of the few schools that has a direct link to a World War II veteran. And what would this speech be without paying homage to Garth Webb himself and all the other veterans that fought to give us a better future? GWSS is a place to learn and grow over the four or five years that we are here. We are continuously taught to learn today to lead tomorrow. And with all that's going on in the world right now, I ask that you at least take five minutes out of your day to do some research and get informed because being informed is the most important thing you can do to support and lead the charge for any cause that you stand for. We cannot continue to live in a bubble where we ignore everything that's happening outside of it. Someone once told me, if people are informed, they will do the right thing. It's when they are not informed that they fall hostage to prejudice. With that being said, we survived the nervous nines, the treacherous tens, the energetic elevens, and the tiresome twelves. Thank you for allowing me to represent each and every one of you. Thank you to all the teachers that supported us and made sure we made the right decisions. Thank you to all the parents who kept us on the right path. I'd like to also thank my parents for always motivating me to strive for greatness because mama, baba, without you, I wouldn't be who I am today. And lastly, thank you to my bros, Bilal and Siren, who made sure I didn't screw up one of the biggest moments in my life. Chargers, I wish I could say it gets easier from here, but I'm a terrible liar. Class of 2021, we made it. Today's celebration has been a different but special event recognizing the achievements of our class of 2021. Commencement marks the beginning of bigger and broader accomplishments, and we are excited for what your future holds and look forward to hearing about the achievements you will make. There are so many people who have helped our graduates arrive at this point in their lives. Parents, friends, and teachers have all contributed in some measure to the success that they have attained. And on behalf of the graduates, I would like to thank you for the encouragement, love, and support you have provided. Before today's event draws to an end, we must take a moment to recognize the hard work of the many individuals who have made this celebration special for all of us. The Garth Webb students who provided music for today's celebration, the commencement committee, administration, and the office staff for their time in bringing this all together. The students who shared their videos and memories, see my clients for the editing and production of this video, Jane Cartwright who performed the bagpipe music, and all the other people who worked behind the scenes. We thank you all. Without your help, this would not have been possible. Before our celebration comes to an end, we want to remind students to please stay tuned for information regarding diploma pickup that will come from the school. Also, at the end of today's ceremony, there will be a slideshow of locations around the school so that you can pause and take a picture. The slideshow will also be posted on our school website so that you can access it at a later date and Photoshop yourself in. Although this may not have been the commence commencement you envisioned or the way you expected to spend your grade 12 year, we were honored to celebrate with you virtually today. And please know that we are all cheering you on from afar. You are part of the history and the legacy of Garth Webb. And for, for that, you should be proud. Always hold your head high, be confident and kind and keep your charger spirit strong and close to your heart. Now, graduates, join your peers, take your cap, and toss it proudly in the air. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. My favorite memory at Garth Webb would have to be our grade 9 field trip with geography class uh, to Niagara Falls. It was such a great trip. I met a lot of new people that I didn't know before because it was grade 9 and it was amazing. I made new memories with people that are my best friends and just being on that trip was really like an eye-opening with so seeing Niagara Falls and everything and who doesn't love Miss Field on a field trip? So yeah. A great Garth Webb moment would be the food trucks. Hey Chargers, remember when I turned Garth Webb into a skate park? Hey 
chargers. Remember when everyone would randomly start clapping in the cafe during lunch? 